How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. We've got more Star Wars Black Series today. One of my figures got broken, so I emailed Hasbro, and they sent me a replacement. They sent me, ta-da, Trapper Wolf, a.k.a. Dave Filoni. I wasn't expecting this. Um, I was expecting a Darth Maul or something, like, similar. But we got this. I believe it was a PulseCon exclusive a couple years ago. So, yeah, it's an old figure by the standards of YouTube reviews, but hey, I just got it. So with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the box and then we'll get this bad boy open. Taking a look at the front of the box, Star Wars the Black Series, Star Wars the Mandalorian, warning four plus, small parts, Hasbro, don't put them in your mouth. And we've got, of course, this artwork on the side, which is normal of the Black Series boxes, but this box is not normal because it's actually a uh, plastic free for one. It's like Hasbro's first plastic free box, I believe. But then we'll turn it around to the back really quick, which is nothing. So Mandalorian. So with all of that being said, let's get this bad boy open. So it's a little different to get these ones open because like I said, it's plastic free, but there are little rubber bands you can cut. Just be careful not to cut the, um, the back if you want to keep the box, which I do for this one at least because, let me zoom out so you guys. And here is Trapper Wolf, AKA Dave Filoni out of the box and gosh, he took a while to get out. Just cutting those little rubber bands without messing the box up was difficult. So yeah, plastic free packaging is not the way I don't think like, you're selling plastic Hasbro. Who are you fooling? I understand the environment, like that's that's fair, but like until you find an alternate use for plastic to something other than plastic to make your figures that's like not biodegradable that won't just degrade over time, then you know. But yeah, he's cool. It's Dave Filoni. I mean, Trapper Wolf. He made it so good. I love it. Checking out the height, you can see that he is like at the six inch mark with the helmet on, but in real reality, he's under six inches. And that's because Hasbro likes to just reuse this, reuse this uh, pilot body over and over and over because it's Luke's body. And Luke is, you know, a little short for a stormtrooper, so he's probably a little short for a rebel pilot as well. So not the same body that Dave would have, but it does have his head. So yeah, that's cool. Going over our accessories for Dave. First, I mean, sorry, Trapper Wolf, but yeah, he is Dave Filoni. He's Trapper Wolf in Star Wars, but he's Dave. Uh, he comes with a helmet, like all Rebel pilots should. It doesn't really fit perfectly because it's just reuse of that sculpt from Luke once again, but it'll just, ugh, sorry, I'm really tongue tied today. It does have that wolf tempo on it because uh, Trapper Wolf, uh, Wolf Pack, which is Plo Koon and Plo Koon is Dave Filoni's favorite Jedi, so yeah. And then of course we get a blaster. I don't have one like this, I don't think, so I'm pretty sure it's new and not reused, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, and I probably am, but I don't have it and I have a pretty big Black Series collection, so just, you know, know that. That's the accessories. Going over the articulation, there isn't really much new because, well, nothing at all new really, because like I said, it's reuse of Rebel Pilot Luke, but we do have some head swivel. We've got shoulders, so they come up 90 degrees. Like it's not bad articulation, it's just old. Elbows come in, they're single, but they come in 90. Um, something just fell off of him. Something orange and plastic, I don't know. I hope that was just like excess plastic. That's strange. Uh, glove turns, and then we've got the wrist side to side, all that good stuff. Um, there's a ball peg in there, but it's really tight. No ab crunch or anything, no waist, no waist cut. Um, but we do have, I lied, there's no, barely any articulation at all, but there's no, um, oh, there is a thigh cut. I didn't lie, but we have double knees for whatever reason. Can't kick his own butt because the sculpt gets in the way. And then we've got rockers side to side, up, down. Yeah. So nothing new here. Just Dave's head, that's all that's really new, but that's the articulation. First up for scale and comparison, you can see Trapper Wolf here with Luke Skywalker, same figure, different head, and Wedge and Tilly's, same figure on both different heads. So yeah, like I said, Hasbro has reused this body over and over and over, and I really don't see them changing that 
for whatever reason. I mean, they did make new ones for um, the sequel trilogy, but you can't use those. They're different. So we're just going to keep getting Luke's body, I guess. Right, Hasbro? Next up here is Dave, I mean Trapper, with his favorite Jedi, Plo Koon, and Plo's first hand, uh, right hand man, sorry, Wolf, uh, from Clone Wars and Rebels, both shows that Dave made, so, Wolf, Trapper Wolf, Dave Filoni, Plo Koon, Wolf, you know, it's Dave. It all comes back to Dave. Next up we have Dave with a new buck Stormtrooper. And a rebel trooper from A New Hope, because why not? You can see he's taller, because again, that's Luke's body. I don't know if Dave Filoni is that short, but Mark Hamill is a pretty short guy, so yeah, it's it's a little funny. But it's Dave's face, so that's what matters, right? Just like that John Favreau Paz Vizsla one. It's like, huh? That's not John Favreau under there. It's just his voice. And I wish I had the Maldo Crease uh, Mando and Grogu 2 pack for this comparison, but here's my custom book of Boba Fett Mandalorian Season 2 Din Djarin with Trapper Wolf because that's where he's from. He's from the Mandalorian. He shows up there. So yeah, here's these two together. <laughs> it seems kind of towering above Trapper here. So I can imagine it'd be a little intimidating for this figure if you met this figure like in real life, like Toy Story style. They'd be like, you're taller than I remember you being. It's like, yeah, strange, right? Sorry, I keep griping. It's just funny. And just because, why not throw some droids in there for once? Here is Trapper slash Dave with R5, D, whatever, Red, the guy that blew up, and our R2-D2 Bandai model kit, which is actually more in scale than Black Series as far as astromech droids go so yeah that's why I have him he's up there on my Mando shelf because he's waiting for Luke I had a custom but I was like I don't need that custom anymore because that other Luke is coming so I took him off the shelf and R2 is still there because and then lastly for Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and then lastly for scale and comparison we have Dave with Bob and Thor what a cool group oh Thor is so tall you can't even see his face yeah, he's so much bigger than Dave. Dave is so short right now because Hasbro was like, you're going to be short king. And Dave was like, yeah, I'll be a short king for y'all. Sorry. I know, Fredo. So with all of that being said, I will say Dave is totally worth it because he was totally worth it to me. Hasbro was like, here's a replacement for a Darth Maul. It's Dave Filoni. You can't complain, right? Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can always come back every week for my awesome content. I think it's awesome. I'm a little biased, though. And, of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this figure, what you think of Hasbro's, like, reuse of the pilot Luke body, how you think, uh, or what you think about their exclusives being, you know, creators like Dave and... John Favreau and all those other people like just, or tell me how you're doing just how your day is going I love you guys I'll see you next time and bye bye